Hey YouTube, what's happening? It's Chris here. Just wanted to bring you guys a little update here on Friday. We're going to be talking about Bitcoin. We're going to do Ethereum. We're going to do Litecoin. We're probably going to do Digibyte, XRP, and maybe some Stellar. And guys, I'm going to go through this a little quicker. I just did this whole video, and I guess the audio wasn't working, so it was probably close to a 20-minute video. So I'm just going to go through this a little quicker. Sorry about that, but it is what it is. If you guys could like, subscribe, all that. So guys, first of all, we want to talk about where we're at right now and take a look at this RSI. We're at 15 right now on the RSI. Now, traditionally, guys, every time we've gotten down here around that 25 or so, you can see here, it moved up. Down here, it moved up. After each time, guys, you had this run. So look how low we are right here. Why couldn't we at least run back up? See if we can test this 30 line, and there's good gains to be made even in that before potentially getting pushed down. You're going to see here's major resistance right up here on the RSI, and this 6,000 is going to be huge, guys, because that's what we broke out of. This is monster overhead resistance now that's going to happen. When we had this flush here, these bear candles, they've broken down on volume, okay? So let's really keep in mind where we're at, guys. And remember, I'm not your financial advisor, but when you see things like that, how overextended we are, there could definitely be a reaction to this. And you can see this is a doji candle forming right here. We're going to see where it closes for the night at 8. But if we could close like that on a little bit of volume, that would be good because you want these doji candles to form on supports and you want them to form on heavy volume, different things like that. But right here, guys, just like we had in that descending triangle, you see how we broke out we moved sideways for a couple of days and we fell back down again. So we've really moved hard, and I don't see why we couldn't go back up and potentially even test here, that 45, or to this 20 EMA. You can see all along we've been very tight with this 20 EMA, and that 20 EMA would bring us around 5,300. So that's definitely a spot that we can look at as well, where guys may be shorting. People are going to be shorting up in here. So we really got to keep an eye on these levels, guys, but we are very oversold. So I want you to keep an eye out on that, okay? It's very important. And then one more thing, guys, I want to show you on Bitcoin like major supports here and this is without using the Fibonacci this is just support and resistance so we had our major one here guys that we broke through right there and then we came down this would be another spot about right here and that's around that 3100 you can see guys had some volume come in down here and it's also this top over there so really keep a close eye out on that and also the 3,000 psychological level. That's going to be a really big deal. I mean, there's obviously little areas here, guys, that came down, but I'm just looking at these really big, big areas because we're in this channel now between this potentially 3,031 and this 5,000. So we're going to see what happens in here. But my anticipation would be that we're probably going to have some type of reaction, come back up, maybe test 5,000, 5,300, somewhere in there, guys, before we potentially get pushed down farther. It could very well happen. So you want to be prepared for the upside and you want to be prepared for the downside, guys, because, look, this downside move is basically as big as, like, this upside move is. And then what followed that? You had that fall. And what followed that? A reaction. Do you see that huge fall here? Reaction. Huge fall here. Reaction. Here. Reaction. Here. Little reaction. We were just having these lower highs while we were moving on this flat bottom, and we just pounded through, and then that's where we had this fall, guys. So we're going to be looking in the channels now, okay? So really pay attention, but we are very overextended to the downside. Keep in mind, guys, when we run to, the RSI got to about 94 here on Bitcoin. So you kind of keep these things in your mind say we are going up for a run or something you see the RSI at 85 90 95 you're gonna have to say you know what guys maybe this is a time to take some profits just like this may be a time to do a little bit of buying and see if we can hold and then maybe sell when the RSI gets up to this 40 or so that makes sense so guys let's move on let's just check Ethereum quick all right so Ethereum very well oversold as well guys we we're sitting at $119, which is crazy. Okay, some of the spots I could see us going down to if we continue to break down. Guys, we have this support here around that 100. That's going to be psychological. That's a big spot there, guys. And then we're going to have around like the 56, 57 if we were to go that low. But same deal, guys. Look at this RSI. Each time it always moved up. It always moved up. Here it moved up. Here it moved up. Here. And we're about at that level right there, guys. But remember what these moving averages are doing. They're pushing us down. We're just following those. But look at this 20, how it just rides and grinds. So that's why I said we may have a reaction back up to that 100 and maybe 50 before maybe having another leg down. Keep an eye on the volume, guys. It's crucial, crucial. That and the RSI. Litecoin. 
Hey guys, Litecoin, you see we dropped through the 886 on here on our Fibonacci. We broke down through the channel that I had for us, and now we're probably around that 0 0.93 on the Fibonacci, that level. Our RSI is low. We're looking at $21 or 21 on the RSI, and we're looking price range, guys, 31.10 right here. So you're going to think, you know, so many people said they wanted to buy this coin and other coins. If it only get down this low, if it only get down this low, I'd, I'd sell my house. I'd sell everything, guys. And, you know, you're, we're getting a chance again. So even say you're buying right now and say we never broke all-time highs, but you were able to take a coin like this even back up to $240 right there, you know, and during the next cycle whenever it happens, which a lot of times in these cycles, we are going over the all time highs. But I'm just saying, if you're able to pick something up around here, guys, you know, even to a hundred dollars, that's, that's awesome gain. So, you know, and these reactions and these runs can come in really fast and they can come in really hard. So just be prepared guys. You know, you want to be prepared. Are you a long-term investor, a swing trader? Are you a day trader? Are you a scalper? What is your, what is it that you want to accomplish? Or do you want to do a little bit of all of them? So really study this stuff, guys. Continue to try to learn. Keep an eye on these moving averages. You can see this trend's been down here, guys. I mean, even since February here when we've had this huge fall and we had this reaction, this would have been the time to get out right there, guys. You see those big tweezers shooting star there? And then we just kept setting these lower highs and get, getting pushed down. So we need the MACD, or not the MACD, but these moving averages, like the 20 EMA to cross over the 50, which would be nice. We're going to have to keep an eye out on that. All right, moving averages are really important as well. And let me get some of these off the screen for us, guys. So we can zoom in a little bit more on what the candle's looking like. And guys, this is where I really had my bets here because of this big volume after we had a huge spike and we had this huge fall. Right there is where I thought we may have a little bit of a bounce. But you can see we're just going to have to keep moving. But look at these mini ones here, guys. I mean, they all run in cycles. It's just this is a huge cycle here. This is the macro cycle we're looking at when we zoom out to the day. Yeah, that kind of looks like a little doji forming too. Right there. But we're going to have to see, see if we get some follow through. Guys, my computer is dying right now, and I do not have the plug with me. I greatly apologize. So I'm going to try to get, let's see here, XRP in real quick, and then we're probably going to shut it down. Want to cut off on us. Let's see. All right. So, guys, XRP, you can see we had that huge run here. We had this little fake out here. Now we're moving sideways. Look for support down here, guys, around that 21 cents. If we do break down overhead, we're looking at about 62 there, guys. If we can break that, go to that dollar, and then there's tons of room to run because we fell so hard so fast there. So, guys, I apologize for not doing XLM and Digibyte. I will get to them. Um, probably in a maybe stream tonight, like a video tonight or tomorrow. I'm going to try to get those and we'll focus on them a little bit more. There's some things I want to talk to you about them, but keep an eye on that guys. You know, you see how we just really moved down here and we're going to have to put in this bottom here on the RSI and see if we can start moving back up. So we kind of broke that low here and you can also see the highs that are broken on the RSI. So pay close attention to this stuff, guys. God bless you all. Please like subscribe. I'll keep doing this and, uh, we're in it together. I'll show you and, and talk to you about everything I know. So do the same. Put it down low. Like and subscribe. God bless you.